Hello everyone and welcome into a brand new Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm slash Frontier Pass. I will find an intro for that that makes more sense, but I don't know what else to call it. We are playing as the Maya today. As you all know, we played as Gran Colombia yesterday. We won a domination victory in 143 turns and had a blast doing it. Today we are playing as the Maya. Very unique niche science civ, so we're going to go for that space race victory for sure. I don't want to break down absolutely everything other than... A lot of her abilities have to deal with um, being within or farther away than six tiles from your capital. That's a really important number. Any cities within that gain 10% to all yields. Any cities outside of that gain or lose 15% to all yields. We have our unique archers, which happen right away, which are awesome. We want to get those as soon as possible. They gain combat strength against wounded units and for being within six tiles of the capital. So very good defensive units early on. Our observatories are the campus replacement. They have a bunch of unique places to put them, namely against plantations and farms, which is different than your normal mountains and geothermal fissures and reefs and those types of things. They still get the bonus plus one from the government plaza and the other two districts, though. So that's still around. And then our unique farm gives us a little gold and a lot more housing. All right, and then we get one amenity for each luxury adjacent to the city center. If you want a more of a breakdown of this, just take a quick pause, read it, and then come back into the game. We're going to explain it as we go as well. We are playing on a standard map, so eight other civs, I believe, or seven other civs to make eight. Whatever standard is. Standard Pangea map, no mods. Everything is set to normal. Nine, re regular city states, whatever that is. Two for the disaster score. And uh, we are playing on abundant resources is the only big change. The reason why is we restarted a bunch of times and just weren't getting enough plantations to make our campuses any good. But this is the perfect start. We're going to move right here. We're going to settle next to two luxuries for the plus two amenities. We're going to be able to put a campus right in between these bananas adjacent to where we can put a bunch of farms. Which is awesome. The only part about this that does suck is that we do need to chop all of this out to access those farms. And it'll make me really sad that we're probably not building a Chitsune Itza here. But that's fine. So we will settle our cap and then we will start exploring as always. What we want is immediate animal husbandry and archer. So there are a Holt Chase right here. We want to hard tech this right away. That's going to be our defense. We probably won't get as much time to go into encampments and walls. Because we're going to want to go into irrigation and chopping right away. Oh, actually we might want to go down here to be able to chop the woods. Maybe I'm overthinking this a little bit. Yeah, anyways, we're going into our hull chase first. We can think about the rest a little later. We're going to build our scouts first. I want to explore the map. I want to see what's around. All of our cities need to go within six tiles of our capital to make the most out of this uh, unique ability she has. So we want to make sure we're scouting in a circle around and start planning out our best tiles within six, or best cities within six tiles of the capital. A volcano. A spot for pyramids, though, which is interesting. And immediately there's barbs. Crazy. The so two more luxury resources. A great spot to settle a city, but not a good spot for campuses quite yet. Oh, yay, we got a relic. That's awesome. So getting a relic out of this goodie hut is really, really nice because it gives us the, the extra faith. Which means we don't need to take God King. And we're going to get a Pantheon really quickly. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six? This is exactly six tiles away. So I'm going to earmark that as a good settle as well. Because it's in between two luxuries for the amenities. So I'm just going to put it down as a potential good settle. I'm going to work on a Slinger that we can eventually upgrade into a Hulche. Oh, perfect. And there's a little bit of a lake here, so we might not get forward settled into this area. We're going to want to clear this out. Up here. These scouts are very annoying. Returns to Code of Laws. We'll just fortify here and see if he attacks us. If there are no he shall not. We have horses right next to the capital. Awesome, awesome. I believe if you click abundant resources, that doesn't always happen. I think if you have regular, regular standard resources, it gives you an iron and a horse near your capital, most often than not. 
Or more often than not, but not always. Oh, so the encampment's literally right here. Still, I'm gonna actually scout down below us for now. We're getting that slinger in best. one turn, so that's fine. And we're gonna put barb strength in. We don't need god king. No reason for it. We're just gonna put production in our cities. All right, more plantations, more good campus area over here. No, for no city state meets though, and there's another sieve right here, which is a bit frustrating. Good pyramid spot though. Earth Goddess is nice, but there's a lot of jungle on this map and not a lot of mountains. So I don't think Earth Goddess is going to be our bread and butter this game. I think we just go for this extra settler and get set up as quickly as possible. And while I'm saying that, I want to settle down here first. If I know there's someone here and I know I want a city down here, we want to settle down here first instead of settling up here where I can tell there's no one up here right now. So we're going to take our settler down here and just settle where we can. We definitely want another settler, but I'm going to work on... I'm going to work on a builder while we're waiting here. We're going to need a builder really quick. I want to meet them for the era score, but I just want to get another city down. I'll meet them for the era score later. What? Um, found him. Coming. All right, so if we settle, we want to settle by the two luxuries, get the amenities. If we settle right here, and we met Mitla, and we're a first meet on Mitla. So Mitla is a Palenque now. Palenque is part of our city names, and so they moved Palenque to Mitla. City growth rate is 15% higher in cities with the campus district. Obviously nice for us if we get that Suze bonus. One, two. Four. That's not really as far away as I'd like for it to go, but it does give us some good adjacency options. So we're just going to settle right here. Yeah, it gives us a really good campus in between these bananas as well. So this is fine for us. Not the best city ever, but I, I can't get everything I want all the time. So we'll be, we'll be happy with what we can get. And a bronze working Eureka, not a problem. It looks like we're going to have lots of barbs to kill. Can you stop that? Perfect, so let's actually, where's that goodie hat? There it is. Let's mark some things out here. We settled here for the two amenities. We definitely want to put a campus between these banners. So we're going to put the campus right here. It's going to be plus four. And we want to get farms. So we want to farm here, a farm here. Make that work for maximum impact. Same thing here. We want to put the campus between the nanners. Farm, farm. It's only You only get one for every two adjacent farms, so I won't worry about the third one. Perfect. Awesome. And that also, we're going to get plus 10% for these because we have, um, we're within 6,000 of the capital, right? So that's perfect. So, so far we have a good vertical lineup here, but we will probably want to spread another city here and another city over here based on what I'm seeing. We just want to be careful to make sure we're, we're settling the best possible cities because we're not going to get very many of them. So you have to be extra careful about the cities you're settling. We're going to have the one builder, but that one builder is going to have a lot to do. So I'm going to try my best not to not to mess with that. Since we can't get up to the suzerain, I'm actually going to not commit my envoy. I'm going to keep it in case we run into another city state. Perfect. Now we can just take pot shots at these guys for a promotion. My preferred way of fighting barbarians. Also, barbs can't take your capital. So if they attack our capital, it means absolutely nothing to us. Totally fine. We just want the free promotion if we can get it here. Also, in three turns, we can upgrade him to a hull chase, so he'll get extra damage from being near the capital. I do like being able to ignore water when you're settling cities, though. 
there's no plantations around here for a good campus but there is a luxury to settle if we want an amenity may the forces of evil so there's our promotion we're also going to get a free um not a free but we're gonna get an upgrade into a holche i don't mind getting these horses online right away for a little bit of extra production and we're just gonna write for another settler we want three cities down as quickly as we can get them i like to do it before turn 50 but the quicker the better i'm gonna go into mining we need to be able to chop rainforest mining into bra or mining into bronze working and then up into writing will be our Ooh, actually we need irrigation before writing Okay, so mining into bronze working into irrigation into writing is our is our tentative plan. Poundmaker? That's fine. Poundmaker can often be quite peaceful, so that would be nice. He's got his he's got his unique scouts, but a lot of his bonuses are trade route based. So I would I would assume he'd like to trade with us as we are right here. All right, let's take a look at the power of our of our Hulches. Oh, one more turn. One more turn. Then we'll set up the power of the Hulche. Mining in three turns, so we'll be able to get these mines down. Get this amber down. The amber probably be better, but these actually are science tiles, so that's not terrible. Not terrible, them science tiles. I want to scout up this way. All right, bye-bye, Slinger. That wasn't even a wounded unit. That was just a dead slinger. Right? And we get even more if the unit is wounded. Which is crazy. Definitely want pyramids if we can get it. I'm surprised they didn't update it so barbs could heal in the encampment. If I'm being honest. Maybe that's on purpose that they don't do that. But I always thought it was weird. When you find yourself in a side, oh, there we go. Beans. Um, I'm gonna use the Hulche to scout a little bit. I'm gonna scout up here just to see what's around. Desert tiles for the pyramids, it looks like. Russells? Not a first mate, so there's someone else kicking around up here. Somebody else around. Right, you could also put another campus here for another city. Use the same two plantations. Interesting idea. So if you had like one, two, three, four, five, six, and settle up here. That's one, two, three, five. You can settle around this area and still use these two plantations for your campus as well. Awesome. More arrow store. Great. Now we have now two mercury. I'm going to try and trade mercury with pound maker. Four gold for 30 is fine. I'm also going to send him a delegation and see if he'll... No. Not that happy with us. That's fine. Welcome to the United States. Hello, Teddy. How art thou? Are you well? Why are you so mad, Poundmaker? Am I going to really have to index this hard into Hull Chase? This Every nation lives by exchange. Production in all cities is still fine. And naval units we definitely don't need, so this is all still fine. All right, well, I can't really go much farther away from the capital anyway. We have a really good settle right there. No, no plantations though. So good amenities, no plantations interesting problem to have for our campuses because we have to make the most out of plantations it really sucks we don't have citrus all right yeah it sucks that the pyramid style is under a volcano you win some you lose some i definitely want to start chopping but i'll wait for magnus to chop stuff out do I want to put a farm here? It is really good for... Give you a lot of housing, these farms. Put that farm down for now. Get it up and running. I want to go index into Hulches. I would really love a trader. 
Especially because it can go to Milta or Mitla, probably without any problems. But I'll wait to see if we get declared war on by um, Poundmaker. Because he's denounced us now, so he can just go for a formal war and not even have to surprise war us. We're going to Bronze Working, then into Irrigation. Can I harvest that wheat and put a farm down? I'm going to try and do that. All right, so we've kind of revealed what's six tiles away. I want to take advantage of the two plantations. Or I think settling right here makes a lot of sense and you get all these chops. So you probably put another city there. Your campus using the same two plantations. Farms around it. So these two are, there's no room in between. No plantations over here. You probably want to use... Oh boy. It settle a city on the diamonds. Use this as another campus. Here. One, two, five. You could settle on the stone too. Settle on the stone or the diamonds. Stay within six tiles and use this as another campus. The same two plantations. I think the stone is probably a better settle. Work the diamond tile. I think that makes sense. One, two, three, four decent campuses. Two more plantations down here. Lots of desert too. Five, six. One, two, three away. This is as far down as we can go. Probably want to use these bananas twice though, right? One, two, five. Go down here. No. Close. Oh boy. If you settle here. Use those two bananas. You have to settle here to use them again, and that's not really ideal. I love this strategy planning aspect to this. It's it's hard. It is hard. Definitely want to put campuses on both of these. Just about where the city centers go. I mean you can you can go on the stone. And it's just a really long waltz down to the campus. But I mean, we don't have that many good city options. Take a look at the settler. Yeah, you need to settle this tile right here. Good for pyramids though as well. Was that six good campuses? Six good campuses is nice, plus 10% in all of them as well. Very interesting city placement though, but we'll, we'll keep that pinned. We'll keep that pinned and see how that goes. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy because bronze Also, it's important for us to, to figure out which cities we want to settle first. Too. I don't know if anyone's coming up from this way. So we might want to we might want to rush down to to what this city here probably. Which isn't a good production city, but we can build the pyramids in it. And also it's the only land here he can really forward settle us. 
So I think we just rush down to this city. That's what we want to do. This city is really nice for production, but it doesn't help us with any of the problems we're going to have down here if we don't settle here now. I might regret doing that. And we're going to want another Hulche for sure. I'm going to buy a trade route and send it from here to Mitla. Oh, I can't because there's this isn't revealed. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'll buy the trader once I've revealed it. There's candy. Not a first meet for candy, so someone is hanging around up here. Someone is... Someone is hanging out. We need pottery. It's two turns, so you're gonna wait. You're gonna, you're gonna harvest it and... Put a farm down. That'll give us a lot of extra housing and a, a quick population boost. Because we're building settlers. Keeping our population up is a bit, a bit difficult. You're coming down to reveal this so we can send a trader. I'll buy the trader now because we can reveal that in just a turn or two. Who's up here? Who met Brussels and then didn't come down here? Is that where America is? I thought America came from over here. Huh. Been wrong before and I'll be wrong again though. Next turn for you, Mr. Trader. Next turn. Yeah, bump up to three pop. Put that farm down. We'll get the amber in just a minute. Early builders are hard to are hard to justify in a lot of games. They're really hard to justify in a lot of games. It's a it's weird for me to to want them, to be honest. Easy trade route here. There was no one that was going to give us an envoy for it, and it's just safe from barbs. Nice and close. Hard to pillage. That's what I like in an early trade row. Our farms give us gold, which is nice. Um, it helps us with our economy a bit. We just want to Hulche up this city here um, to be as defended as possible. What's his military score? 94? Is he at war with America? Nope. Or at least we don't have... It's not going to tell us if he is. Awesome. Fantastic. Another city here. A good campus there as well. We're gonna have lots of food. I don't think you need a granary. Grab that builder. Definitely gonna need irrigation. To the monument, I suppose. No, oh, I said grab a builder. What am I doing? Not that. You go for a builder. You can probably go for a builder too. Yep. Yep, yep. I do like not having to worry about what's up here though, right? Cause like we're never gonna settle up here. So it doesn't matter. Ooh, he's been getting ravaged by barbs a little bit, hey? I'll come in and take out that encampment. Don't you worry. So we're farther away than six tiles from the capital, but it's still a lot of, a lot of damage. All of our Hulches are coming down to where we could possibly be attacked. Yep, another settler. I want my cities up and running as fast as possible. America is up here. Um, I don't really care about losing the population every time. We're going to have so much food to grow it back. It doesn't really matter that much. I want to get the pyramids going down here as soon as we can get masonry. Well. It was luxuries like egg. Um, we're not really fighting barbs anymore. And our, and our halt chase are good anyway. So we'll get rid of this card. Oh, I mean, the other ones are naval units and experience for recon units. Oh, we'll keep that in then. And production towards settlers, absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to get bonus against wounded units here. Or wounded, yeah. Perfect. Take the error score. I don't actually care if they kill the guy. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just go our typical route down into government plaza, then a government. And Magnus is heading to El Mirador. Lots of things to chop there. Also, that accent was not great. I tried, though. There was an effort in that accent. Thousands have lived without love. We have irrigation now. Fantastic. We don't have any builders to make use of yet, but we're, we're getting We're just going to back up. 
We are appropriately defended. Where are the barbs at? I hear them. Down here. Let's. Oh. Um. I thought someone was knocking on my window with that like knocking music. I definitely gonna want to go to masonry after this. And then probably we want we want at least one or two horses after for defense as well. We'll see how it goes. Finding the balance between defending yourself and like getting established and zooming through the game is, is hard sometimes. I want to keep at least one Halche in this city. I want to never I want to never give the appearance of being undefended. Also, I want to save my trade route. Well, that was worth it, Mr. Barbarian. Oh, don't pillage my trade route. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Nice Barbarian Scout. That was kind. I appreciate you. More error score is lovely. We are four away from a golden age. Is that possible? 10 to 18 turns. It is possible. Now, I want to chop the rainforest before I put the plantations down for maximum effect here. We definitely want this observatory. We can chop out... We can chop out a settler here. Fine. To get our cities down ASAP. We get five cities by around turn 50. I'd be really happy with that. Don't harvest the resource. Yeah, production and food. Awesome. Look at these whole chase just hanging out. Defensive formation. Horses for gold. Do I want to give my horses to Teddy? I don't really need them this second, so that's fine. I like gold. I'm going to see if Teddy wants to actually trade with me. Oh, damn. We don't have enough builder charges. We're going to have to clear that. And then grab another builder for that plantation. That sucks. We can buy another builder, though. We're building one here, too. You're gonna come up and heal. Each so now he's got what he's got 135 score now, so he's he's beefing up for sure. Not messing around. We also need to chop out this woods actually. We just need another builder. We need to chop this woods out to put the to put the um, campus down in the first. Place. That's fine. Our next settle is definitely this one here. Oh wow. Okay, we have two settlers right away. Awesome. Now you come up here then. This is great. This is a much better start. I'm enjoying this start so far. This is unique. It's fun. It's interesting. Um, this is very, very different than anything I'm used to. So I hope I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I want to go into horses right away. I feel comfortable now here with the amount of settlers we've got. Now it's time to start chopping stuff. To start getting some of our observatories down to boost that science. And then closer to turn 100, I'll, I'll settle the last few cities. But now is a big focus on, on getting observatories down, getting builders out, chopping all the districts, moving Magnus around, those types of things. Uh, we're going to need another builder. I'm actually going to buy a builder here too. It's going to be a party with the builders. It's so weird to need builders this early. It's fundamentally weird to me. I'm feeling strange right now. We're gonna have iron here too, which is nice. And that iron doesn't interfere with the farms we wanna put around this campus, so that's even nicer. I'm not giving you free stuff, Poundmaker. Get lost, man. Right where you need to be. We're almost there. Just double checking. One, two, four, five. Perfect. And we're gonna use those bananas, those plantations for that campus. We're gonna remove the rainforest for food and production. And we're gonna put a plantation down. And then the next thing is this observatory. Now gonna be a plus four, am I correct? Plus four, awesome. So, did I take the builder out of the queue? Yeah. I just wanted to, to lock that in a turn early. 
Wait, so we definitely want these. I want this chopped out. I'm gonna clear this and put a farm down. Ooh. Yeah, I wanna chop this out for pyramids. Pyramids, where's the best theater square possibility? Doesn't really matter. I'll keep it away from where it can be attacked. Do I move Magnus down for one chop? No, I'm gonna move up to Kibnal for multiple chops. I wanna do things quickly, but I can't have Magnus everywhere. So I'm gonna be a little inefficient. Now up here, there's a lot going on, but nothing we need to get to this instant. I'm gonna put walls down. I do wanna defend our cities as best as we can get them. When was the last time we had one, two, three, four, five cities by turn 51? We are cruising. Again, we're gonna need a builder here. Lots to chop, lots to do. New city state quest, Cahokia, where are you at? Where you at, girl? I don't know why I assumed Cahokia was a girl there. Sailing, ah, I don't think we're founding a coastal city, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. Oh, it's only 19 production, that's not great. Yeah, that's fine though. Let's do it. Ah, it took, it took 11 turns off of it, that's not nothing. Um, anything else we want to do here? I do want to chop this, but I want to focus on... I can chop this, actually. I can chop this and then move Magnus up, and that'll almost time perfectly with that builder. Yeah, you come down here for this plantation. This is tricky, guys. I love this. This is so fun. It's a very different type of fun than Grand Columbia, but it, it's... Very unique, like the early play style you kind of want to go for. You're going here for this. Where are you going? Oh, you're chopping this out and then heading up to the Wack Cabnal. And we're going to move Magnus to Wack Cabnal. I know I'm not saying that properly, by the way. I'm positive I'm not saying that properly. More barbs, go away. Candy's gonna deal with them, that's, that's nice of Candy. I don't really wanna deal with them. And our observatory, plus four era score, of life amazing. A strong economy begins with a strong. Literally one turn away from a uh, golden age, but that's all right. Why is everyone else in a golden age? We're gonna take free inquiry, it's just really reliable. But with the turn of the era is the end of this YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, Definitely check the links below in the description. We have Twitch, Twitter, and Discord for you to hang out in if you so choose. Hit that like button if you like the video. It helps other people find it and join the clan as well. If you hit that subscribe button, you won't miss any of our Civ content, which is coming at a rapid pace. So you definitely want to do that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.